What's up? How are you guys today? We're going to touch on a few foods that you can incorporate into your diet to improve the overall quality. And I think a year, year and a half ago, we made a video on why organic is important, explaining the rules and regulations that the USDA has in order to grow organic produce. And it basically removes a lot of the negative chemicals. I refer to them as agrochemicals, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, insecticides, glyphosate, all the stuff they normally spray on the conventional food. That is not allowed when growing organic. Of course, there's still some exceptions and some negative things that can be used. But if your diet isn't already 100% organic, then you can make a lot of improvements. Uh, we did another video on meat marketing and explaining why organic meat isn't necessarily the best and that you have to go for quality. But what we're focusing on today is, you know, you might be having some organic foods, but there's still downsides with those and homemade alternatives that you can do uh, to mainly reduce the amount of fluoride and toxins that are typically in low quality water, as well as increase the freshness and reduce the histamine content of the foods. So let's uh, get a little closer and show you guys some changes I've made recently and over the past few months. Okay, so I guess we'll start with breakfast and work our way to dinner with steel cut oats. And the alternatives to this would be, you know, maybe some old fashioned oats that I actually have uh, in my cabinet over here uh, that are processed a little bit differently. Uh, you might have some quick oats, which I actually have over here too, like uh, some of the instant oatmeals. And even though all of these things are organic, there's a lot of downsides. So what's not so bad is these rolled oats. And what they do is they steam these and they press them and they are heated. Uh, the concern is that, you know, the oats are in contact with a lot more machinery and, you know, the cleaning chemicals and stuff they use on that machinery can maybe get on the oats. And also the water they're using to clean the machines and the water they're using to steam. Overall, something like rolled oats or quick oats or even uh, these instant oats have that downside, whereas the steel cut oats are almost in a more raw form and then you can use your own water and your own cooking methods that you know are not tainted by negative chemicals. And then of course the instant oats also have some additional flavorings and other things that aren't necessarily required to be organic and, and can kind of skip by the USDA in that regard. So, uh, you know, we did the overnight oats recipe uh, like a month or two ago now and these actually taste a lot better. So. You know, if, if you're not doing this and like you're spending, you know, five or ten dollars a day or something crazy on glass bottle mineral water or you're getting well water, you know, you just want to make sure that, you know, when you're investing so much time and money into other aspects of your diet that you don't overlook something like that because it's, it's kind of silly to almost throw everything out the window unless you're, you know, intentionally doing it by having like a cheat meal. Uh, so then for lunch, I'll usually make my own homemade bread. Uh, here we just have a regular organic white flour that is recently milled uh, because flour is like oats too. It starts as like a, a seed. They call it the wheat berry and then it's ground up into flour. If you're buying store-bought bread, then usually there's additives and preservatives in it. So that's the main downside. There can also be different types of synthetic vitamin fortifications, especially iron fortification and B vitamins, which are very, very bad for your liver and make the bread, you know, almost unhealthy regardless of how high quality the flour is or what the fermentation was. So you're avoiding vegetable seed oils, synthetic vitamins, preservatives, and then the bread usually isn't that fresh. On top of all of that, it's very, very difficult to find a bakery that actually uses high quality organic flour. And then when you're able to use your own mineral water or filtered water at home, you know, you're not getting a giant dose of fluoride with all of these breads. You know, regardless of, even if it's like bread alone, sourdough bread, which is a, a pretty good brand we have here in New York, that's naturally fermented. You know, the only ingredients are flour, salt, and water. They're still using fluoridated tap water, probably, when they make the bread. So regardless of how good the bread is made, if you're buying it somewhere else, you still have the water concern, so you kind of have to make it yourself. Uh, you know, we did a few recipes on bread over the past few months as well, but uh, that's another major improvement that I've done to my diet uh, to just 
reduce that water concern. And then for dinner, we have a, uh, the next three things. So instead of having canned beans, uh, like these organic butter beans here, I started buying the raw organic cannellini beans. And similar concerns that I've said about the past two things, you know, what type of water are they using to cook the beans with? What type of water is in this can? Are they cooking it in the can? What chemicals and toxins are in the can lining? You know, is there a histamine concern that, you know, how old are the beans? Is that causing digestive issues? There's so many negative things, you know, is it so heated that the beans have broken down and they're not as effective for digestion? It's not as good for you. It's really hard to justify having a food like this or buying store-bought bread every day or having quick oats every meal. Look, it's okay if like once in a while, once a month, a few times a month that, you know, you don't have time and you use something like this or the quick oats. But if you're going to have a food in your diet consistently every day, like I do, you want to make sure it's as high quality as possible. So what I do is uh, we do have these beans on my Amazon shop as well as most of this other stuff. And we should have the, uh, the rest of the stuff on Frankie's Strange Foods, but I'll soak these overnight in bottled water and then I'll cook them in the Instant Pot the next day for just an hour. So I know they're super fresh, you know, they haven't been in touch with too many negative surfaces. Obviously you can't always get past the packaging they come in and uh, they're, they're very fresh. So minimal cooking time. And these noodles, I guess the main thing to touch on is that most pasta, durum wheat, all the noodles you're eating, it's not that great for the liver. You know, these are the least inflammatory noodles I have found. So when you're going, when you're looking through pasta, all that stuff, this is made from, I don't think it even says it on here. Yeah, because it just says organic wheat flour and water. But you can tell by the color and the taste of these noodles that this is whole red winter wheat, which is basically just regular white flour. So it's basically a clean slate of noodles that I can add like my bean sauce to and, and some more fiber to. I mean, to sum it up quickly, I was eating all these other pastas, which wasn't actually allowing me to detox my liver because of certain negative things in them. So if you guys do want to have noodles in your diet for me, this is the only real option. And the lesson to learn here is really pay attention to how you react after you eat the food. You know, at first I thought, you know, the pasta was an okay carbohydrate for me to have, but you know, sometimes I would get headaches after eating it and I'd almost always have to lay down and I was so tired. Uh, so pay attention and then if you do notice a problem like that, try to look into, you know, what is the entire composition of this wheat? Is there a vitamin? Is there a chemical? Is there an anti-nutrient or something in it that I'm getting too much of? So very important to keep in mind. So the last thing to touch on is this artichoke spread. And you guys have seen we've done the whole artichokes as well to put in my pasta sauce. Uh, we should have this on Frankie's Strange Foods this week if you guys want to get your hands on it because you can't really buy it anywhere as it is one of the highest quality jarred products I've come across. It's organic, it's in glass, and it has no preservatives in it. You know, it's just artichokes, some olive oil, and some seasonings. And that's very significant compared to, you know, something like this or a regular jarred artichoke product is going to have just water, citric acid, a lot of negative things, and plus, this tastes a whole lot better. So for the most part, any sort of canned or jarred product, you can usually find a very, very high quality alternative, but you might have to spend a little bit more. And that's the difference between something that you don't really want to have in your diet that frequently versus something you can have every day on a consistent basis. Yeah, so these are some relatively recent changes I've made in my diet to increase the overall quality. And we should be getting a hair mineral analysis in a few weeks. So. I guess we can check if like my arsenic intake has lowered or uh, mercury or if any of the toxic metals have gone down slightly, but I have been feeling a bit better and, and that's the main metric to go by. So uh, we do have a few of these on my Amazon shop and as I've said several times, uh, we should have this jarred stuff on Frankie Syringe Foods relatively soon, so I'll probably announce that in a different video, but as always, thank you guys for joining me. You can go to frank to check out all of my businesses, uh, especially Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, one thing on there is, you know, I've been having the beef stock instead of the collagen broth lately, uh, which is just a slight 
vitamin difference thing, not really something I wanted to touch on here. Frankie's Korean Foods, all the other health products. We have the sourdough starter if you like to make your own bread. But you guys can see all the other businesses on frank-stefano.com. If you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.